My name is Dan Brodsky Chenfeld, and I am a proud original member of Arizona Airspeed. Everything is possible. It requires being a bit naive, optimistic, faithful, working your ass off to make it happen. Nothing is going to get handed to you. I realized if I ever wanted to win the world championships, I was going to have to find people who wanted to dedicate their lives to, to doing that. And there was no reason to do it. It was actually a pretty stupid thing to do. It wasn't like there was a big prize or reward or, or uh, sponsorship. It was purely for the love of it. And I loved it a lot. The people who really love it so much that it's worth doing for no other reason, who share that passion, you're gonna cross paths. I couldn't have planned for this. I couldn't have scripted this. It wasn't like Jack and I were thinking, man, I'd love to be on a team with that guy. We were probably thinking the opposite. But our paths, our paths crossed. Uh, Kirk, who knew both of us, was, you guys gotta do a team together. We need that, both of you guys. Who do we want for a fourth? Who do we need for a fourth? And I was like, I've, we, we need Mark. Enough of these things connect, and then it's when that magic happens. But I, I definitely believe in magic, for sure. Everything you do on a team is done way before the competition. Whether you win or lose is, is not even about the actual gold medal and victory at the World Meet. It's about what you did in training, what you did together, what you accomplished together. The, the degrees that you were able to push yourselves to levels you couldn't even imagine. There was something from everybody and different from each other that I want to be more like Mark in this way. I want to be more like Kirk in this way. I want to be more like Jack in this way. I want to be more like John here. There was something I wanted to take on qualities from each one of them. I wanted to become a better me by taking little pieces of each of them. That, that victory and that value was very, very real. And, and what you've won before the meet is over is something that will last way longer, right, than the results of the meet. What the museum is going to become is a place that people forever will be able to come as close as you can come to being with all of these people. Uh, and hearing the stories and just seeing the, the passion in their eyes, it's, it's incredible. There's so much that, that gets missed. There's so much that we don't know. We have them there. We have those people there. We're not gonna have them forever. Having a museum is the only way to stay connected to that, to stay attached to that, to still have a place that you can step back. And though they're not sitting right there, there they are. Here's what they did. Here's how they did it. It's something that is worth understanding and treasuring for as long as the sport goes on, which I hope is ever.